it's quite interesting that this brand, who which didn't exist before 2011, yep, has an equally rightful <laughs> claim. Really weird Paddock to <laughs> the to the origins of Paddock Philippe <laughs> as Paddock <laughs> Philippe. Like This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com slash Theo Harris to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Or just use the code Theo Harris at checkout. What is up, Watch Him? I am Christian, the curator of the Theo and Harris Watch Shop. I'm Michael, the big man on campus. No. Number two. Dude, I'll fire you if you speak like that again. <laughs> uh, anyway, Michael and I sit down. Michael and I work together, first of all. This yep. company called Theo and Harris. Yes. Um, we, um, we we sit down once a week or twice a week sometimes, yep. and we talk about uh, vintage watches and new watches, watch news, industry figures, new releases. We give a very unfiltered, <laughs> unpracticed, unfiltered opinion that um, – no one, no brands uh, uh, pay us to give, yeah. and and we have no vested interest in being over um, over complimentary. Yep, we make our money elsewhere. These videos, they don't they don't make us money. I don't I don't care about flattering a brand here. The biggest rule is nothing matters. The biggest rule is nothing matters. That's actually our attitude. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters are the things that matter. Everything else, it does not matter. Yes. And that sounds obvious, but it's not. Go check out a watch YouTube, watch YouTube or YouTube spaces in general. Yeah. People think too many things matter. They don't matter. It doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Okay. But you know it does. But, it, but it's fun. It is fun. <laughs> you know it does. It is fun. <laughs> <laughs> But what does matter is that uh, if what you like this, or if, whoa, not bad, no cheap out. Very I don't tasty. drink, so I don't. I don't know what that is. I don't know, I've been milking this for at least an hour. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? No. I've been skimming this for an so, hour. Um, today's what, episode. Well, what does matter is that if you like these videos, you should subscribe. Yes. Or subscribe. I should probably say it right. If yes. you like these videos, you should subscribe. Yep. And if you really like this video, halfway through, you should like the video. You should like the video. Actually, doing those buttons, hitting those buttons, matters to us. Yeah. Uh, if we don't get those buttons, we have to find new jobs. And yep. that I do not want to do. That will not go well. I, I Sometimes I, I was going to go to law school when I was in school. I, was, I, I didn't because I have a company that that, that does well. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> That <laughs> smile. <laughs> Put that in slow motion. <laughs> and um, anyway... Sometimes I think when I'm during the day, I'm with my poppy having a cup of coffee or I'm helping him. That's like the nice part of it. Or sometimes when I'm just like hanging out and smoking a cigarette at noon. I don't smoke, but I'm hanging out having a Bellini at noon. And I'm saying, wow, if I was a lawyer, I'd be at work right now. <laughs> yeah. Thank God I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> Dude, like this guy, it's an annoying guy, keeps calling me about his job. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> So our topics today include Paddock's biggest lie, a big gap in their history. Yeah, it's not it's not a bald faced lie. It's not like oh this, but it's kind of like what is that? A little incomplete, and and someone else is filling in the gap there, and we'll talk more about that in a second. Yes. Um, but first, we'll also be talking about Longines and a couple of their new uh, uh, watches. Yep. We'll also be talking about Jay Z's uh, uh, newest, all the most recent Paddock, yep. which is actually super cool. I I don't give a about celebrities, I, I do not hold celebrities in esteem by any means, um, but... I feel like also Jay-Z has a huge influence in the watch sphere, yes. obviously, but the fascinating part is like the nerdy watch sphere, he's not in, but he really like pushed forward with yeah. with Ben Clymer, Hodinkee, yes. and Jay-Z. And that's funny you remember that. Yeah, it's, that, it's just a weird, wow. like Jay-Z's on the outskirts, but he also really started Hodinkee in a weird we'll way. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but that's I did not know you even knew that. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought that was like a... I didn't know you knew that. Dude, well, we've, we've worked together. We've talked about that. We never talked about that before, though. Oh. No. Anyway, okay, we'll talk about that later. Yep. Uh, and then obviously, like we said, this... But moving away from Jay Z's paddock, of course, another paddock conversation, which again is this big, you know, lie. Yeah. Uh, this confusing little tidbit. It's fascinating. It's just fascinating. It is. Uh, from Fran Fran Franjic something else. Yeah. It's Polish. I, it would be more of a ja something. Ja I don't know. I don't know how the end goes. <laughs> okay. So I don't. And then, which is, I'm by the way, cool. one of my problems with the fucking brand. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. If you don't fucking speak English, the fucking door is over there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, like, this is f***ing America. Uh, Sid, so do, like, do you want to watch? This is a Swiss brand. We don't. <laughs> Swiss brand. I'm like, bro, I'm not f***ing pressing one for English. Okay, mother Interested in buying it? No. No. <laughs> mother <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't feel that way. Very um, uh, interesting. Sorry to interrupt you. I know there's a little disclaimer there. No, 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 no. I just, uh, you know, listen. One of my best friends is Polish. <laughs> 
Well, I guess oh. you too. All right. <laughs> so two of my best friends are Polish. Oh, and my coworkers. <laughs> That little pimple that works for me, as well as one of my best friends. Uh, uh, that's funny. That's right. My best friend's Hungarian. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't I always call you Hungarian? Didn't I? Well, my mom's Hungarian. Uh, oh, okay. That's why I yeah, was confused. Yeah. Okay. So Michael's Polish, and, and and Michael's one of my great friends. But then one of my best friends <laughs> <laughs> is Big Wrist John. Oh. And Big Wrist John oh. speaks Polish. He's Polish. And um, I am the only reason I have. We'll talk about this more later. But it's just that the the, the the double consonant, the CZ. You know, I suppose it's the same way that other people feel about other languages. Like, how do you pronounce that? Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, and I'm so paranoid about mispronouncing it because then it's insulting. It's insulting. Like, why did and your language put me in an awkward spot? <laughs> the worst part is the people that are insulted are not the people that speak the language. The people that speak the language are like, wow, you're so close. You tried. All you have to do is fix it. Everybody yeah. else is like, that's not even close. To yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. If I, if I went to Poland, then I... T- earnestly attempted to pronounce this, they'd be like, wow, that's really nice of you. That was so nice. I'm of like, you. wow, that's really good English. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, yeah, everybody else can basically speak your language. You're remind, just incapable. Remind me to tell you a funny story about a Polish aunt of mine. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, Woody um, Allen. Okay, pal. <laughs> I is the fucking not. <laughs> wow, this is a good one. Um, okay, so but anyway, long story short, the watches, those are great watches. So finally, we will end off with uh, with an Instagram scroll. We'll just scroll through my Instagram. Classic. See what we find. And uh, that's it. All right, so let's, what do you say, a word from our sponsor? Yes, sir. Today's video, yes. thank you guys so much, is sponsored by Squarespace. Yes, and what's interesting is Squarespace, from really since I started watching YouTube, when I was watching filmmaking videos, has been sponsoring creators. Always. So it's a very strong part of their brand identity just to literally give creators, you know, income so they can continue to produce. But their product is centered around inspiring creators and letting them build a website easily so they can get back to what they want to create and move forward. Yeah, I, I, you know, so some people's brand speak doesn't really reflect their actions, but you're exactly right. Uh, Squarespace, the entire product, yes, of course, you go to Squarespace to, to have your entire website, your entire online you know, presence, your website presence built. Exactly. And, and not just built, but built really, really well. When I say well, easy to use and really, really handsome. You Designed know, well, to- fast, efficient. Beautiful. Exactly. And again, yeah. if you're someone like me that is very afraid of technology, and, yeah. I, and I really am, like it's not yeah. even a joke. My grandfather asked me to help him use his TV the other day, and I was like, Poppy, I love you so much. That thing's going to stay off. I'm going to try, but we should really just get past this. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. This is yeah. not going to happen. Right, okay? right. But even someone like me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys, that's just nervous about it. We have a business plan. We really know what we're doing. We, we, we care about business, but this is not something that's easy for us. Squarespace makes it not just easy, but easy to be beautiful and functional. Huge. Huge difference. Very, very, Huge very difference. large difference. Um, we use Squarespace. We, I love Squarespace. They play a very special part of the Theo and Howard story yep. and my story. I owe them a ton. I, I owe Squarespace a ton more than I paid them. <laughs> yeah, Let me tell you that yeah, right, right now. Right, right. The odds are if you watch us, you watch you know, Theo and Harris and other channels, yep. uh, you know of and care about small business. And, and then the odds are also that you have maybe had some, you know, aspirations or interest in true, true. not just starting a business, but putting some of your, maybe your work up online, your art or something like that. I mean, there are definitely, a, there are a million ways to go about it, right? There are a million needs for a website. Um, and if you need one, and I think that a a lot of you guys out there do or, or your lives would benefit yep. from putting what you are out there. Squarespace Agreed. is absolutely the company to help you do it. Agreed. Needless to say, but I'll say it anyway, of course head on over to squarespace.com slash Theo Harris for 10% off uh, your first website domain and to really get started on pursuing your your journey. Yeah. Or if you're already there, you can use the code Theo Harris to get the same discount. Yeah. So thank you guys at Squarespace for sponsoring this video again. Um, again, I love you guys very, very much. Very special yes. place in my heart. Yes. And I strongly recommend that you guys use Squarespace for your creative needs moving forward. You know, go go live your go live your go live dream. Yeah, you know? go. You better go now. I'm doing it. It's oh, awesome. Yeah. He is. And he is too. Who? Whoa, this guy. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> So yeah, so Longines released. Uh, a, no, this is not a new watch for them. This this watch already exists. Right. It's Legend Diver, this double crown super compressor, you know, style watch. Mm-hmm. But it's in new colors. And they paid a little bit more attention to the size. Yes. So so this watch is offered in two sizes, thirty six and forty two. Now, 
I do think. Now, I appreciate that Longines is offering in two sizes. Uh, so do I. I do think that, and again, I hate to be that guy. Oh, no. And, I, and I'm I looking forward guy. to seeing how these wear. Yeah. But 42, I, didn't, don't, I don't think it needed to be 42 and 36. I thought it could have been 42 and 38. Yeah. And that, but I'm, I'm interested to see how the 36 wears. And 30, I'm sure for a million people, it'll be perfect. 36 perfect. is a small diver. It is a small diver. Keep in mind, that's the size of a Datejust. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, it's a, it's a vintage Rolex Datejust, 36. So I'm interested to see how those how that how that wears. Um, that being said, I my gut tells me the 36 is going to fit a lot better on my wrist than the 42. The same, same. It's probably going to be perfect for me, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, it's the jump that you're saying, it's right? It's the jump. The 6 millimeter jump. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it is pretty funny though. We talk about this sometimes where we're working with a client and they give us so many edits that we're like, oh yeah, well, we're going to do a really good job. But like spitefully, and then we do a great job, yes. and they're like, "Thank you." We're Thank like, you. No problem. Exactly. This seems like that where we keep saying, not that they're listening to yep. what we're saying, but we keep being like, "Smaller, smaller, smaller," and they're like, "Oh yeah, thirty six. We're like, oh, "That's the perfect size." <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, Legend Diver. Yes. This watch is again his, a historical watch. This is kind yep. of a reissue. Yep. Um, dates back to the 1950s, 19 late late 1950s for their original divers. This is when Blanc Pawn was fighting. This is when Longines was fighting. Rolex, Rolex came a little bit exactly late, but right. all the big stars were coming out with their divers, in not the their new divers, yep. their divers. So this was a huge deal. Exactly. Uh, and and Longines remains very very true to these original divers. Yes. Uh, you know today I mean they are just now introducing them in different colors. Um, Yep. Uh, sand, blue, sand and burgundy being the, the two like main stars. Yep. And I think that they're very cool. But I really like that they're sticking with the design. And now they, I think they originated in 36 millimeters. So I think that's why that's the number they chose. But I really like that they're sticking with that. With, which I guess the big debate now is obviously Blancpain and Rolex both had clickable bezels that you could turn with your hand. Mm -hmm. This is a crown that you turn to change the time when you're it's, underwater. It's interesting that they're sticking with that and it's very strong brand identity. Ex exactly. Longines kind of owns that and, and that's a very valuable thing. I mean, you yeah. know, it, it's very difficult to own, like to, to own a design that is actually recognizable to many. Yes. Owning a unique design is not very difficult. You can do anything. Of course. But owning a design that is both lovable yep. and distinctive to many, that's difficult. Yep. And Longines did it. Panerai did it as well. I mean, think about Panerai. A Panerai, yeah. under any other name, is still a Panerai. It's a fake, rather. Exactly. It's, exactly. You could never do that. Yeah, know? right. And right. not even just Panerai's Illuminor, but even their Radiomir. And even a more subtle watch, which doesn't have the same like bold design cue being the, the, the crown protector. Yep. Panerai's a Panerai. Yeah. And this watch is absolutely, again, it's a Longines, and that sounds obvious, but put any other name on the dial and it's a fake. It's a, yeah, ex that's exactly, yeah. exactly the point. It is a core collection piece for yes. any budget. This is the originator of this design. Exactly. You can get, you can get a cushion case watch that looks like a Panerai for five times the price, yep. but you need a Panerai. Exactly, yep. exactly. So anyway, I think they did a great job with these watches. Oh, there's also a gray example as well, uh, which I think is really just a black example with more depth. You know, it, you know, yeah. it doesn't strike yeah. me as gray. I really like um, gray. Fantastic. This is probably the one that I would get Same. if I did get one. Yep. And they did an amazing job with this watch. Long jeans at their best. Long jeans at their best. Absolutely. Even the date window sounds stupid, but it's true. Yep. Great execution. I am a big fan of the Long jeans brand. If you're looking for watches, under three thousand dollars, in many cases around two thousand um, dollars. Longines is really one of your best bets. It's a historical brand. Their quality today is great. Um, they are very in touch with their history. I think they're fantastic. They also created just beautiful design elements that are wanted. Obviously, you think of like the Rolex crown as a design element everybody wants, but now they have the five star on right. a Longines, not dive watch, but like that stuff. It's like that's cool, and that is their thing. Right. Paddock conversation here yep. uh, is is again a, a missing piece of their history and a curious piece. So yep. uh, it, it starts off with again we are we're talking about a brand uh, called I just I just googled it and you can click play. It's Japek. 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 Could be right, could be wrong. C Z A P E K. Important part is we're trying because we care. What really matters, which is this is one time in Little League, I can bat both sides, left and right. But ambidextrous, amputee. <laughs> I am physically disabled. Coach, I'm an amputee. What? <laughs> well, I can bat on both sides. My mom swings both ways. <laughs> That's not what, what I meant to say. 
<laughs> I'm no, no, the coach. That's not what I'm saying. I need to speak to your mother. I'm saying I could easily. Yeah. <laughs> but my coach one day was like, "Okay, I've seen you do it. Go up and do it now, bat lefty." And I got so nervous that I like forgot how to like swing. Could you actually do it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow. I could hit it way better lefty. <laughs> Maybe. But dare I say you're a fucking lefty? Oh no, my coach was totally right. But I just was batting righty for so long that I could. I felt more comfortable righty, really? but I could slam it lefty. But it was just like I had my hands upside down, so wow. it's just the most pathetic. Like I was swinging like horribly. I struck out and I like cried and dug out. That's terrible. Oh, that's horrible. I uh, I did I did not do well in baseball. Um, I quit fairly young. Yep. Um, most of the people on the team. I went to school with them, but we weren't very good friends, and I didn't feel cool or wanted there, so I stopped playing baseball. But I played soccer, and I'm very good at soccer. Or I'm, oh, either, yeah. either I'm, I'm, I'm very good for a regular person at soccer. You talk a big game about soccer. I talk a big game, and I'm afraid to play, because I, I feel very strongly the next time I play soccer, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear something. I don't, I, I I don't really talk a big game about anything, and I, just in case. I talk a big game about just about everything, yeah. <laughs> and definitely about soccer. Yeah. And uh, I remember my dad, my dad was never, my dad was a coach when we were really young. Yeah. Um, my dad was actually, <laughs> He quit when I started playing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was actually, uh, Sally and I were on the same soccer team as a kid. My dad was a coach. You're yeah. kidding. Yeah, they're funny. Come on. One time, my dad was yelling at me on the soccer field. Uh, not like an overprotective, not, not like a, one of those rude dads, but not yelling. Not, but, like, you know, not getting, anything mean, just like, you stupid idiot, you'll yeah, never mount stupid fat f- you know? <laughs> Come here, junkie monkey. <laughs> so he was, you know, instructing me on the on the field, and I thought it was a good idea to, like a like a like a soccer player would do in a professional setting. <laughs> I love when kids lo- do this. Look at his coach, and I remember uh, my 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 dad is my dad is Spanish, and we I grew up watching Real Madrid, um, and I remember seeing the players look, look at coaches, or whatever, and kind of just like say calma, calma. <laughs> I remember looking at him and saying. Calm, 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 calm down, calm down. <laughs> and he sat, sit there for the rest of the game like this. Couldn't wait for me. Oh, to that personality has never left you. <laughs> and I remember being so scared. I was like, in, in the, the, the whistle blows, game's over. I'm like, any extra time? You guys want to keep playing? You guys want to keep going? I, I don't want to go home. One of my favorite things that kids do is immediately copy something they saw on TV. Very <gasps> serious. Big mistake. <laughs> so funny. Mm-hmm. And uh, my dad, uh, my dad, you know, <laughs> as soon as I got off the field, said, "Hi, everyone, smiling. Get in the fucking car. Get yeah. in the fucking car. <laughs> you and I are gonna have a long. Fucking... Take care, everybody. Oh, it was oranges, right? It was good oranges. Ah, oh, get in the fucking car. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I'm in <laughs> so much trouble. Oh, no. so much... <laughs> I'm god. like, was mom at the game? Do you guys take separate cars? I want to get into that oh, car. So funny. <laughs> oh my dad's the best. Love you, pops. My dad's probably watching. <laughs> he's probably dying. My dad's right? probably in a business meeting right now. He's probably he's supposed to be running the meeting. And he's yeah, there yeah. Just like these guys are hysterical. <laughs> I fucking love this channel. Uh, anyway, so, okay, back to uh, Japek. Yes. So, um, Patek Philippe, as a brand, uh, is, you know, as we know it today, was basically founded by two people, uh, Anthony uh, Norbert de Patek and uh, Adrian Philippe. Patek Philippe. Yes. Marriage, period. Um, but uh, Patek had a partner before Philippe, yep. and his name was Japek. Zizapek. 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 Oh. Frangizic Japek. Japek. And uh, apparently, Frangizic Japek was a brilliant watchmaker. And and as you know, we'll get into that in a second. Yes. Brilliant watchmaker. The brand just didn't work out together, so it formalized under a new name, right? Yes. Yep. We have all done ventures before with people. Not that there's anything wrong with people, but you do it better with someone else. Yeah, sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. Not a big deal. Of course. Uh, Paddock, uh, Philippe, when they talk about their, his- their, their history, they actually reference Frangizic Japek often. Which is weird when they don't start their history, w- you know, after with him, Mr. Patek you know? and Mr. Philippe. Right, they right. started with Japek, you right. know, and um, but yet they never trademarked this name Japek. Yeah. So it was free, you know, it was on the market, and unbelievable. In 2011, yep. a micro brand launched under this name Japek, presumably, and uh, they make some pretty f- cool watches. They make great watches. They make great watches. Very in line with the history of this, of course, since deceased watchmaker, brilliant yep. watchmaker. Yep. And um, it's quite interesting that this brand, who which didn't exist before 2011, yep. has an equally rightful <laughs> claim. Weird padding. 
to the to the origins of Patek Philippe <laughs> as Patek Philippe. Like you click on history, and it's like, <laughs> it starts with this brand. Our Patek. Well, Patek starts with that brand, but more importantly, their brand starts with Patek. I know. Like, How bizarre, right? Imagine going on a micro brand like you're just a watch nerd. You've never heard of this brand, and you look at the about, and it's like, well, Patek and this guy started. You're like. What? Yes, it's really weird, you yeah. know. Getting into the lie part of it, you know. And again, lie is a dramatic word, but of it course. is. But it is correct though, you know. Paddock, now, when they give credit to this name, this mm -hmm. Japek, as this brilliant watchmaker that, in some way, played a great role in the founding of of their company. Yeah, they can never. And I think they will continue to refrain from giving real credit. They have to now, yeah. Because there is a company, Japek, that you're giving credit to. That you're to. giving credit to. And by the way, like most micro brands, but they actually produce a better watch for $25,000. That's the craziest part of everything. And they're the scrappy company, which in a marketing sense makes them. Paddock's cooler, younger brother. Exactly. Like they're they're the guys that started it all, and they're like, yeah, we're over here. Look at these amazing watches that we make. It's like it's like if you know you and I shared. We didn't know that we shared an ancestor. Sure. We both kind of inherited this legend and fortune. Yep. I'm the snuffy head. You're the cool guy that actually is still brilliant. You inherited the brilliant. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. Because right, I right. love Paddock, and Paddock does some crazy. I mean, you know, it, of course, I, Paddock is Paddock. We're Paddock's never going to know that Paddock. I don't particularly like a lot of their watches. Some of them are great. Some of them, most of them, I, I don't think are that, are that interesting or, or, or perfect. I don't. I don't think that they are. I do not think that most of their catalog is as perfect as people think it is. Yes, I do not. I think it is the epitome of the old money. This is my great grandfather's yes. piece. Check I out our museum. Thank you. Many things were overlooked in, in the Paddock catalog. Of course. Um, but but and 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 just to be clear, I you know I understand why someone would give their twenty five thousand dollars to Paddock over Japek. I completely understand. So would I. Um, but from just an objective, you know, just horological kind of like point of view, um, Japek kills it at twenty five thousand dollars and even less. Yes. Um, this watch, which is the first one that I ever saw, um, really interesting watch. And this watch was yep. around fifteen thousand dollars, which again is a ton of money for a brand that you've never heard of. And it really you know it really brings into mind like how much we are actually just spending on a brand name. Um, but truly a seven day power reserve watch with incredibly well finished movement and with a guilloche dial that um, that is that is not only stunning, not only absolutely one of the most beautiful dials I think I've ever seen. It really. doesn't have a singular focus point. It actually has two. Yeah. And that dial, Guilloche pattern, was invented by Frangizic Japek back in the 1850s. This is the worst part of it all. That's amazing. <laughs> like, they are, it's, they're not just right. Like, like there are right, brands right. that ride the legacy, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually connected. I think that is amazing. So do I. I just think it's so uncomfortable for Paddock now. Yes. They're obviously, it's not like there's competition. It's not like they're coming up. But it's just like, oh, yeah. It's, I don't know if it's like if Rolex said, oh, yeah, we originally started this off with Hamilton. Yes. And it's like, oh, that's weird. That's a weird thing. You start off with Hamilton? They're like, yeah, that, that guy. So Hamilton has an equal claim to the throne as you? Yeah. they well, Technically, yeah. They, it's like our first cousin. Well, like we, it's, our, it's our mutual grandfather. Yeah, Hamilton's idea was the oyster, but they didn't really do much. You're, You're like, like, what the f***? So this watch, which is the first watch that I've actually... Talk, well, it's not the first watch I'm talking about today, but I, I have not talked about this brand before. And I think yes. the part of that is actually to do with the fact that I couldn't pronounce the name. <laughs> i, I got to be honest. It is, yeah. Um, and, and also, I think that all the photos that I've seen of the watch, of their watches, yep. were from the front. Yeah. So I didn't realize that they were so serious. Shawty from the back, though? From the back. Shawty from the back is a fat ass. Yeah. You know, I mean, these watches are bananas. Yep. The quality of the movement, the the unique architecture, the materials, everything is amazing. I mean, this is not a micro brand that made that found the name, jumped on it, and made a bad watch. Right. This I'm is a micro brand of, that dominated. Exactly. Yeah. I'm the kind of guy like this is my brigade, and, yes, and is. this is this is an you know, in, it's an interesting case back, right? Yeah. Yep. Whether you like it or not, it's cool. It is it is unique architecture. Yep. And 100%. that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about movements a lot of the time. Yep. Is it's you know, it we've all seen a like movement, it. a standard movement, even well polished movement. We all know what a movement looks like. Yep. We all know what a generic, basically, movement looks like, even yep. if it's well polished. But something that is truly inventive, like like the FP Jorn movement that's with you know the, inside the the Souverain. I mean, you know these these 
Can movements look like nothing ever before because they've been architected that way. I mean, exactly, they're brilliant. Right. And, 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 and Jopek does the same thing. And, and I didn't really realize that. And I am the first to admit now that I f***ed up big time because these watches are extremely cool. And this Antarctic collection, again, the one that I picked up was in, was in, um, was in Salmon uh, with this Affinity display. Incredibly cool. $22,000. Again, in-house, platinum micro-rotor. Like I said, unique architecture and, and these skeletonized bridges just make it so, so unique. Like yep. I said before. Um, I don't love the bracelet. It's not my favorite bracelet. I would like to see this watch reimagined slightly, to be honest. Yeah, without the integrated bracelet style. I don't love the integrated bracelet, but yeah. I think that this brand is unbelievable and i and i think that it's i think it's extremely impressive yeah. extremely impressive. i think they do great justice to the name absolutely right so uh so that's it i mean again that this is for, so far as paddock's lie goes they've been giving credit to this other person this third party it's you know japek paddock and philippe <laughs> yeah you know and yet right. now there's actually a you know, an heir to the throne the japek throne yeah and frankly, Paddock does rest in their laurels a bit. I don't think Paddock does a great job, you know, model in and model out. Yeah, right. And right. these guys are working way harder for your money. At twenty-two grand for this watch, they're working way harder. Like oh, you yeah. pointed out before, what the f is that? <laughs> That's insane. It's bananas. Yeah, it's a Rattrapont. I mean, look at the um, look at the architecture. Look at the design. Look at the finishing. Right. It's completely new. And yeah, frankly, I, I feel uncomfortable looking at that Polish last name too. It's too many consonants. But so so I, I that's it sounds like I, I, I said it to make a joke, so I'm yeah, not, course, I'm not grilling course. you. But like like there is something to that. You know, there always. is something there. We talk about that in terms of the name being hard to read. We talk about that all the time. When I, we talk about the essence of Rolex doing so well is literally because of the crown. On the everyone everyone a, wants a crown on their wrist. A, 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 we talk about that crown constantly. on their wrist, and the name is Rolex. Everyone can basically say it. The name, which you was know? literally Hans Wilsdorf plan. Yes, that, that, that's allegedly I mean, you could say it, plan. Right, you could say it, can, it, and it's a crown. It can sound very close-minded, but really it's just I think, an admission of consumer behavior. Like I'm less likely to walk up to the booth that I can't pronounce. because I'm going to feel a little bit stupid or whatever. And, and then, well, the... Further that, Hans Wilsdorf has Rolex, obviously. What does he follow up with? Tudor. <laughs> a shield? How could you be easier? Named than after a royal family yep. and super easy to pronounce. That's it. Do yep. I want a shield or a Completely crown? Completely understood consumer behavior. So yep. anyway, they did an amazing job with uh, with these watches. I'm looking forward to seeing what this brand has in store. Same. Um, I, I don't see myself buying one anytime soon. But I would not rule it out in the future. I think that I'd be more likely to give them my $25,000 I could I could tell you I am infinitely more likely to give Japek twenty five thousand uh, dollars than I am to give Paddock twenty five thousand dollars. Yep. Right now and over the course of the next couple of years, I'm not really interested in many Paddocks. Yep. Even close to that number. Yep. Even close. If I say Paddock under twenty five or at twenty five, you could picture not a specific watch, but what the watch looks like. And I think that's a problem. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, they, 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 they don't work very hard. It's because, you know, they, they got their margins. They, they're they not up and coming. You know, these guys have to work harder. They're the same way as us, right? Like, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. You know, you know, we, we, we make commercials and we do consulting and stuff like that. And we have to work harder than the big, big names. We have to. That's what you do when you're young. Yeah, right. You know, and, 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 and you know, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just the truth. I mean, well, it's just the truth. He just speaks the truth, you know. And then eventually, it, with the hope that you do get big and you, the money is much, much, much easier to make, and uh, and yeah, with that and at that point you can make the choice whether to slack off and just cash it in your name or continue to deliver great quality at a higher price. You could you can make that choice. Most people eventually say, yeah, the, the Mad Men thing. We own twenty eight percent of the market. Was it something like I that? I don't remember that. What? No, I never saw Mad Men. Oh, well, then it's something it. different because yeah. you told it to me. We own something percent of the market, and the guy's like, well, okay. Your point? Oh, oh, you mean the the uh, the what is happiness or something like that? I don't know. You said some cocky some cocky guy in a meeting is like like this guy basically oh, says you don't know what you're doing. It was with the coats. It was with the coats. Okay, they, okay, they, yeah, they, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I I've never watched Mad Men. I never watched. I watched the first season. I never got through it. I love Mad Men. I just life was hard and I didn't stop watching it. Okay, <laughs> okay. I have a hard job. Okay, <laughs> um, but yeah, they they were basically like you know, um, you know well well we're happy with our current firm. You know we you know, we, do, we own seventy percent of the market and he's like that's not enough. Yeah right you know? right like it's just it's just it's just not enough. Great that's awesome you know? that why why is it not higher exactly and right. that's kind of like the you know 
the panic mentality, you know, is, you know, we can kind of have everything and at this point we we'll don't have to work The watches are it. gone before they get off the exactly. truck. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Anyone that wants a Nautilus knows they have to buy three other ones. So our problem with other inventory, that's going away. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. it's crazy. So anyway, Jopek, good job, guys. <laughs> it's amazing you're doing that these days. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Jay-Z. <laughs> So, so Sean Carter, Jay Z, wore, uh, wore everyone wore watches the Super Bowl. A lot of, of course, big watches. Of course, of course. Uh, LeBron wore a Tiffany uh, fifty-seven eleven. This guy wore that watch. Uh, uh, Ellen wore the rose gold uh, Nautilus. Yeah, um, very cool watch. Yeah, yes. um, But I think that Jay Z wore one of the coolest watches ever. Yes, he did. Uh, this is a Patek Philippe uh, vintage Nautilus. Uh, it's unclear what the reference was. I, it could be a 3800 or a 3700. Okay. 3700 being the original Nautilus. Mm -hmm. I believe it was a 37 because he probably has a big wrist and it did look it looked substantial. Okay, sure. Um, but they made basically the same watch in both references. Yes. Um, a little bit of Nautilus history, why don't we? Sure. So the Nautilus was introduced in 1976. It was introduced years after the Royal Oak was introduced by Audemars Piguet, um, but by the same designer and within the same design philosophy. Mr. Gerald Genta. Yes. Um, and it was, it was it was like a quiz. <laughs> Don't you ever quiz me again. <laughs> Gerald, Not in front of the fan. Mr. Gerald um, Genta. Mr., uh, <laughs> use it in a sentence. <laughs> Gerald Genta makes my watches? Correct. Correct. Right. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Uh, anyway, it was introduced in 1976. Yep. Uh, the design philosophy was, you know, luxury uh, watches can be steel and industrial, yep. but still rich. The design philosophy was AP's dominating... Do that for us right now. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's kind of funny because the Nautilus was kind of like the second draft of the Royal Oak. <laughs> yeah, you know? right, it's like yeah. weird that Paddock got the... He's like, okay, I'll take the screws out. They're Which like, one do you prefer, by the way? Talk I haven't seen enough Nautiluses. Not a lot. Yeah, they're good. I know, that's yeah. the thing. I, I think I'm a Royal Oak guy, I think. The thing about know. what I've I seen with Nautilus is that they just, they have a even thinner presence, but that yeah. still looks tough. Yeah. And I saw one ad... Of a old Nautilus, it's an old Nautilus ad of a diver, mm. like just in open water with it. And I was nice. like, wow, so that's, that's cool. cool. That's cool. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So the original Nautilus, the Jumbo, measured mm -hmm. a 42 millimeters diameter, which sounds big, but it's not. It's, fucking it's the best wearing 42 millimeter watch in the world. It's unbelievable. Yep. Yep. And 7.6 millimeters thick. Um, they introduced a second reference in 1981, and it was 37.5 millimeters. It was the reference 3800. Big difference in size. Yes. I would also love a 3800. I would. They're great watches. Yep. But there is not a doubt in my mind that every minute I wore my 3800, I would wish it was a 3700. There is absolutely no doubt. Right. <laughs> Literally not even possible. Yep. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple of, you know, interesting Nautilus, not a lie, because the one that Jay-Z wore was in fact a rare version with not even just in yellow gold, but also with diamonds. And again, people think of the Nautilus, not a lie, that whole collection as just sports watches and yep. steel. Yep. Not only were they offered in precious metal, but they were also offered blinged out. Yes. And that is an interesting piece of history because it really is. It goes against the original design of it. And then even more so. Yes, exactly. I think that's very, very cool. So here are a couple of vintage Nautili. Well, one, here's the one that I believe that Jay-Z was wearing. That's incredible. Very cool watch. It's like um, the second victory lap. Do you know what I mean? Smaller yeah. diamonds, but there's two now. Exactly, exactly. Uh, again, this watch. And they also made it with, obviously, the, the bracelet as well, if you wanted to go that far. Yeah, that's crazy. And that's a nuts watch. Oh, yeah. That's just nuts. Um, but here, here's a 3800. With, uh, again, double diamond bezel, also rubies. <laughs> kind of nuts. Also rubies. Also, you can see the difference in the hands. Yep. You've got these uh, sword hands. Thoughts on the second hand? Well, uh, oh, I, I don't think the second hand is right. That's another, you know. I, I, I agree. I, I like it without. But yep. also the 5711 has second hands. I think big mistake. Bad, Same. Bad I design. agree. Here's another 3800. These are sapphires. Bizarre. If you thought we couldn't bling it out then, watch us bling it out watch now. Watch us bling it out now. Yep. Exactly right. Here's another one with emeralds. I, that's my favorite so far. Is it really? Oh, that's yeah. It's nuts. Oh, yeah. Another one with emeralds. Oh. Whoa, what's... Oh, that was the mouse. I was like, what's kinda that strange X symbol? <laughs> <laughs> kind of nuts, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are crazy watches. But ultimately, uh, again, I believe, I feel strongly it was a 3700 that he was wearing. And uh, that, I mean, that that would be my choice. If I had to go diamonds on one, I would go 3700, no diamonds on bezel, diamonds on dial. Yep. Um, that's a cool watch. And I will say, 
uh, many, many, many years ago before I worked here, mm -hmm. there was a forum talking about you, mm -hmm. and it said, the one thing we have to give him credit for is his watch spotting. <laughs> and they said true. even Archie Luxury said I can't believe the kid spotted that watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what it was about, but I, but I did. I always I've always watched spotted well. Yeah, I've always watched spotted well. You know, listen, everyone's got a talent. I was gonna say you take compliments is, incredibly uh, well. You know, <laughs> <laughs> mine is uh, my humble you know attitude, uh, and uh, and my watch spotting. I will fully agree. I have I we have been on shoots where there is a watch that I can identify, but not the reference number because there is no outward drastic design difference. Okay, so this is this is the interesting Hodinkee story, which I may not get perfect, but you'll correct me if I, I don't get it perfect. It. Believe me, dude, I'll be waiting. Ben Clymer started a small watch website called Hodinkee, means little watch in Hungarian? I think it was Czech. Maybe Czech, whatever. Hodinkee means little watch. If I was right about that, that was... <laughs> that was <laughs> good. That was a ticket. So it starts this little company, it's going well, it's building it slowly, and then gets a call from Jay-Z saying, hey, I'm going to what event? Um, I don't know if it was Met Gala or something like that. I, I really don't know. Anyways, he says, I'm going to some event. I need your help to pick out what watch to wear. So he meets up with Ben Clymer before Hodinky is Hodinky. And Ben Clymer suggests a rose... It was the Grammys. It was the Grammys. Yep. And Ben Clymer suggests a rose gold reverso? Rose gold reverso. At, ultra thin, just a fantastic reverso. A great suggestion. And, 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 you know, now that was a brilliant choice. Of course. And cool on Jay-Z's behalf. Yes. But we're talking about this happened years ago. Yeah, this, this happened before watch culture was. Oh my god! It got to the point where watch culture now it's refined, where you'll see celebrities were celebrities that usually would go very loud, going reserved and beautiful. Jacob was still kind of cool. When Jacob went, and Co was yeah, still when, wrecking. Like he was wearing yeah. a reverso, you know, at, at the Grammys. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. cool. But but Jay Jay Z's an interesting guy because you know he's obviously from Bed Stuy. He's drug dealer yeah. totally went the whole like hood route at some points but also was super enamored with frank sinatra and this idea of being like a gentleman i actually i actually dislike frank sinatra quite a bit so yeah. i don't think that he's the epitome of a gentleman i think he's a douchebag but but uh that idea of that classic you know rat packer mid-20th century elegance yeah. um that that i think jay-z for a minute there, and still could if he wanted to, mm -hmm. but for a minute there, really was fascinated by and kind of embodied. 100%. You know? And I think yeah. that he's kind of... his album covers. Exactly. And I think yeah. that he's beyond that. I think he's in, in, interested in different looks now, and that's fine. That's, you know, this is all an evolving you know, thing. Yeah, of course. You know, that's what it course. is. I mean, uh, but I love that because I think that what I thought culturally was it, it, you know, it kind of made rap culture not homogenous, not predictable. Yeah, right. You know, it was like, well, rap culture, you know, he's one of, one of the best rappers of all time. Yeah, of course. And he's like, yeah, and I don't look like any of you guys right now. Like, yeah, right. I'm going a different route. I mean, and I may change it tomorrow. Even but now, right now, I'm going a different route. Even now, he, he's switching again, but he's saying, basically, everybody out there that is in the rap game, stop talking about these giant change. Like, I bought real estate. Look at this. Right. Buy real estate. Right. Do this instead. Right. Which is still very, like, obviously in the culture, it's still very prevalent. But what gets pushed out a lot and is very popular is the complete opposite. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So he's always kind of been on that line of been like, yeah. no, 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 think about this. Think about your image. And I'm to I, I am so disconnected to rap culture now. I mean, the last time that I really, like, really listened to, like, rap was when Jay-Z and, like, you know, Kanye were, like, at the th they're, kind of, they're still both big, but yeah, they yeah. were, like, the only guys. Watch the throne and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah watch course. the throne and all that stuff, you know? Yeah. And, um, and first of all, who knew they'd be billionaires one day? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I know. When I was listening to Late Registration, I did not think this guy was going to be a fucking billionaire. You know? Yeah, right, right. Um, but that being said... Um, there's also a correlation, I would think, to like these guys are great writers. These are pretty brilliant people. Yeah. And now, and I don't know a lot about rap. Again, I really don't. But I know that there's a lot of rap. There are a lot of rappers that do like that whole like kind of like garbage like mumble rap and shit. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. So Sonic Silver lyrics type the deal. Culture, right? Yeah, that was a much better way than I was going to put it. But like the culture has been taken over a little bit by not great writers. Yeah, right. And when you're not as good of a writer. You're, 
there's probably a correlation between your ability to write and your intelligence. Yeah, and right, guys like right. Jay Z's a fucking brilliant writer. So Jay-Z, no wonder why he was good with money. You know just, what I mean? I just told brilliant. you. Yeah, yeah, I just told you he Literally. wrote Still Dre. And it's right, really it's yeah. really funny because in the interview he's saying like, Oh yeah, you know, the the very famous like still not da 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 yeah. still he was like, I was doing all the voices for that. Yeah, that's so interesting. Like yeah, I mean, he's been brilliant. I'm even going back to like questioning, like like uh, Jay Z and Kanye questioning again. Now this conversation is getting a little bit into rap and like culture, but Jay Z, like uh, Kanye specifically, like questioning, uh, you know, like like even consumerism back in 2010. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, while while still participating in it and 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 calling himself like wrong, like he was being honest and saying, "I am also participating in this." up system yeah but right. like literally like i went to jacob with twenty five thou before i had a house and i would do it again like yeah but simultaneously saying and and, and then even double doubling down on it years later like this is f-ed up like literally the idea of new slaves was yeah, the same course. idea right yeah like, right right brilliant mind like 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 again there are more brilliant people you know there are yeah um, but really f-ing smart you well, know what's and, fascinating too is like that Jay, we're just quoting rap back and forth. Yeah, right. Jay Z, I'm not a businessman. I'm, I'm a, a businessman. Business man. <laughs> What's interesting is that's kind of the. If you know business, you know there are certain things you have to do. Mm-hmm. If Kanye dresses not like that in that era, he's not going to be able to exactly. be Kanye. So yeah. by dressing like that and then saying like this is this is bad. This yeah, is right. really bad. I feel like it just shows a heightened sense of like this is what sells. You have to see me like in this video with a giant chain doing right. this. But the content is saying. This is what you think is good. It's not. They say very smart. They say your attitude determines your latitude. <laughs> and I'm high as a motherfucker, fly as a motherfucker. Yeah. Still the motherfucker you'd love to hate. Yep. But can't. Yep. Because you love what I make. <laughs> <laughs> now, ain't that about a bitch? Now I'm gonna talk shit until I'm out of hits. Yep. They don't want to turn the speakers up. They claim I ain't deep enough. <laughs> All that talk I feed off of. Keep it up. I'm relaxing my feet is up. I'm leaving you haters. Like when Shaq left the Lakers just to heat it up. I can go on. Has That's how into it I was. You're in the wrong profession. Fuck you. You're a dick. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jay-Z, fantastic choice with the Reverso. Really, yes. really nice. Uh, <laughs> really, really nice Nautilus. Uh, you're, you're, no, you're That's what cool we guy. say if we ever see him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really, really nice Nautilus. You know what I was just thinking? Could you imagine this entire story, this entire 20-minute conversation about Jay-Z yeah. is under... Is, is completely incorrect because it was really like a different it's common. Is it different? <laughs> <laughs> it was fifty cent. <laughs> that would be horrible. Oh. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Well, Rock is in the building. Uh, like and subscribe, and I gotta get the f- out of here. I have, I have, I have family obligations. I have to meet. I worked way too much today. I'm done. By the way, I make sure everything's done. Okay. <laughs> By the way, you're gonna get my laptop. All right, back take care, guys. <laughs>